Hello everyone, Mary Ann here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. So thank you for joining me today, I just want to get a few thank yous out of the way for those that have sent me gifts, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, they're very much appreciated. For those that um, support this channel through their thumbs up likes, through their comments, through their subscriptions to the channel. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all the new subscribers, welcome aboard um, and thank you for joining me. All right, let's get started today. I want to um, go straight away to the Supreme Court of the US, the SCOTUS decision, to hear the immunity uh, question regarding whether or not uh, Trump or whether or not a president or in this case an ex-president um, has criminal immunity and when this was handed down uh, there was mass panic I was uh, I always moderate my comments section to keep away trolls uh, so I was um, looking at the comments and I know uh, and on my Facebook page I know many of you came across and said can you please jump on and read and read this is terrible They've delayed the decision until April the 22nd and that means the January 6th uh, criminal case against the ex-president won't be heard before the election. Uh, this, you know, this man, we saw it unfold uh, on January the 6th, uh, the attack on the Capitol. Um, and rightly so, I'm just going to say rightly so. Um, you have every reason um, given to, uh, to be worried about this delay or apparent delay. It is a delay. I, I can't, I won't say that that is not. However, I had a couple of things in mind, apart from the fact that it was coming into my weekend, uh, and I do take weekends off. Um, I also didn't feel I was ready to read on it yet. I thought, this is, there's something else here. I just had this nagging feeling here. The two things came to mind. Like I wasn't clear. I didn't get a straight out intuitive hit that this, that this was as, uh, that there, I, I got the intuitive hit there was more to this than meets the eye. So the first thing I want to say is that uh, legal uh, pundits now have taken a second look at this decision. And what they're saying is they've actually done the the, the prosecution, um, the people, quite a favour in the way that they've worded the question and narrowed that down. And uh, that means that all else is off the table because they've narrowed the question so far down. And if you want to have a look at, um, at why... The way that they've done it is actually very, um, look, it's 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 clever in a way because it will just stop any fallout uh, for, for, from a decision that says uh, a president doesn't enjoy uh, immunity from criminal cases. Um, now, we know that that's true. So it's, it's a complicated, uh, I guess, reasoning that, I'm, I'm not a constitutional lawyer, so I won't even bother to explain it. But two lawyers that you might want to listen to, that, uh, and that's George Conway, first, um, first mooted this kind of uh, other way of looking at the Supreme Court decision on the Bulwark, Bulwark uh, podcast. You might want to go and look at that. And then Michael Popok um, from uh, Legal AF on uh, the Midas Touch Network. You might want to go and have a look at his his um, take on things because it kind of, for me, that feeling that I was holding back, when it dropped in, I thought, ah, that's why I was holding back. But there's a couple of other reasons as well, more on the intuitive side rather than my legal and, and the analytical brain. Um, the Fourteenth Amendment is going to be decided. Um, is going to be decided uh, Monday. Well, it's Monday here in Australia, so tomorrow they're predicting that that decision will come down on the Colorado banning of the ex-president from the ballot. Another state uh, has also, I think it's, is it Illinois, has also said he can't be on the ballot. So the Supreme Court really does have to give this reading to make it clear. So I had the 14th Amendment in, in my 
sites as well there. Uh, and also what has come out since around the timeline is in the Florida case, the DOJ said we have no, no rule that uh, we can't continue to try a case when someone's already been criminally indicted within 60 days of the election. That That is not a rule. It's a protocol. Uh, when uh, when indictments haven't begun, investigations haven't been begun, but this matter is well and truly in train and that rule doesn't apply, which means that Jack Smith, the special prosecutor, has more time now. So it is a chess game, I have no doubt, and uh, everybody's right to be concerned. But just back up a little and allow things to flow out in the meantime. Is he going to, let's go back to my prediction on this, is he going to be found immune from criminal prosecution within the narrow description that the Supreme Court has given? Absolutely not. He doesn't have immunity for acts that, are not official acts of the presidency. And interfering in the election was not an official act. The president, quoting um, lawyer Michael Popop, Pocock, Popock, the president doesn't have any official role in elections. That is up to the states and to the certifying um, of the uh, of the election in the Congress. Um, so there you, there you have it. Uh, the Supreme Court has really narrowed down that question, which means that all the other questions that Trump uh, that Trump has posed within within the January sixth matter that all of that is off the table. So it's really only confined to within that very narrow question. Is he going to be found immune? No, he is not. This wasn't an official act of a presidency. The other um, uh, thing I want to read on today is the classified documents case. No, there's been no decision. Again, I had a clairvoyant image that the, it was like sand dropping down and grinding the gears in the Canon classified documents case. I'm still of the firm believe it, believe, belief that she is walking this, not running it. She's on a go slow, allegedly, the way that I see it. Can Trump pay up? The downfall of the ex-president uh, reading that I did, um, just I think it was just after Christmas, in December, it was in December, and I didn't publish it until later on in January. That has uh, received a very high number of views. Uh, that's a double-edged sword for me because I get more trolling. Uh, of course, the wider things go from um, the ex-president's fan base. Um, but uh, but also, um, in within that reading, I suggested that he may be having money issues and... Uh, can he pay his um, his bond to appeal both the New York civil fraud case and the Eugene Carroll um, uh, defamation case? Uh, no, it appears that he can't. We'll have a look because he might he might be able to put up some, uh, and he might be looking at other uh, more nefarious ways to raise the rest. But anyway, we'll 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 look at that. Um, and I do want to look at. Um, uh, Putin, that's the other request that I get a lot of. Can you look at Putin? Uh, I will do a, a Putin in 2024 reading, but not today. I just want to look today as uh, ha has Alexei Navalny, the opposition leader that he, that was assassinated in Putin's prison, post a, another attempt on his life um, by Putin with nerve gas. Uh, has this weakened Putin at all in Russia? Some very brave Russians turned up with roses at the funeral um, and chanting his name. And so the more that we speak his name, uh, which is what I got clairvoyantly, the, the greater his legacy actually is. So we'll take a look at that. Um, and again, thank you for all your comments uh, and any other way that you support this channel. Let's go to the SCOTUS uh, decision here. Narrow down question. Um, all else beyond that narrow question is off the table, which means uh, all those matters are uh, upheld. So the Supreme Court will, will not be looking at any of those other matters. So it's just this narrow question. 
Okay, so... Uh, and also with the stay, because they were hearing it on April the 22nd, then the stay became moot. So uh, let's check up on my predictions. Um, all right. Will he be found immune from what he did on January the 6th, this criminal, allegedly criminal act of interfering in the election? Because that's really what the question is now. Will he be found immune from doing that will the ex-president be found immune from interfering in the election so we have the nine of pentacles interesting so something around money becomes um becomes pertinent to this and for example uh smith the special prosecutor may present um may present evidence of money raised in relation to that matter about an allegedly not allegedly it wasn't stolen and then we get news coming through very very quickly we have victory here at the base of the pack don't panic in the past, we have something coming to fruition in time. Okay, the question is, what is coming to fruition in time? Uh, crowning this reading is the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups overflowing emotion. You can see the water pouring out of that cup. It's also new starts in some way. Okay, so we have here the Page of Swords. Um, now, that is... That is my card for that kind of treasonous type of behavior. But in traditionally in the tarot, it talks about clarity around a question. Clarity and a new start because of that clarity. But reverse that a page of swords becomes um, confusion, deliberately sowing seeds of confusion. Now in the here and now we have the uh, king of cups. Now... That is my card for, for the DOJ. However, in this case, I do feel this is about a wise decision. And then we get magician surrounding this. Now, magician manifesting. What are we manifesting? But the magician can also be manipulation. So on the one hand, we have wisdom. And then on the other, we have potentially manipulation. In the hopes and fears, of course, we have the deceit card. And that, again, is why we are fearing, because there is a sitting judge on that court whose wife was caught up in the Stop the Steal, the Stop the Steal movement that led to the January 6th insurrection. So we have the Seven of uh, Pentacles. That's interesting. Uh, it's definitely not a win for Trump. That's the outcome card, and we have uh, uh, what I felt uh, is happening at SCOTUS. These are no cards, by the way, for me. Um, there's dissension. There's dissension. Uh, however, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, and then we get Plans Upon Plans. Okay, so uh, the Seven of Pentacles, if, if, if a plan doesn't work, then they go to Plan B. And then we have January the 6th. So these cards are painting a picture and then we get locked out, left out. These are all no cards. They're not straight up yes cards in the outcome, but we get disappointment. Now, it's a no, but within that judgment, there is something there that may be uh, more positive. But it is a, straight, it is a no. Um, we get disappointment, three cups lost, but one cup remaining. Potentially... There are, I'm going to give you it to, give it to you straight. There are, what's on the base of the pack? The Queen of uh, Wands, the uh, minor card, death, minor arcana death card, the Five of Cups, loss, and then we get the Ace of Pentacles, new starts, and uh, the Wounded Warrior, and of course the Tower. So this isn't going to go uh, well for Trump. But there is within the, the justices, uh, there some would argue, and we know who without naming them, some would argue that this was an official act if he felt there was corruption. However, 
that's not going to fly because, of course, he was told by his own Attorney General there wasn't and his own head of cyber security there wasn't corruption in the election and the many, many, many cases that were before the court. So uh, they're going to find no, he does not have immunity in this as it relates to his actions around January the 6th. But there's some kind of softening there around something or other and it does not lead to saying he has immunity at all it's just a uh, perhaps a dissenting um, opinion from one of the justices but these cards are very clear there's a no there's a no there okay he does not have immunity um okay so um it, as i said once that question for his actions his actions around january the 6th that's how narrow the question is. That will allow the trial to um, proceed forthwith. And it will give the prosecution um, and the judge a lot of clarity about around the scope of what they have to try. Uh, was this an official act or was it not? I do believe the Supreme Court is already going to answer that in their opinion. All right, let's see how it, uh, how it goes. It's a no, he's not immune. All right. So, uh, and I can't be clearer about that. Will this case be heard before the election? It's the other question that you, you people, you viewers have. Um, let's have a look. Will, will this January 6th case, will the January 6th case be heard before the election? Will the January 6th case be heard be heard before the election? People uh, majority want clarity, as we know from the services uh, from the surveys. They want this answered before the election. Uh, I'm seeing a sword being ground down. Um, all right, will this case be heard before the election? Will this case be heard before the election? And that could be the good argument for hearing it, that he has a right to have this heard before the election so he can prove his innocence. Justice, yes, it will. Sometimes these cards are very, very clear. Sometimes these cards are very clear in complex situations, and that is, that is clear. There we have the DOJ and the justice card as the signifier cards. Now we have lies and deceit at the foundation of the reading. Stealing something. That's what the card is, stealing something. We have a new start in the past. That's interesting. Almost like this has already been decided before we get there. Moving out of troubled waters is crowning this reading and the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future legacies. You will, will know, your, you will ha already have the Supreme Court ruling will be a legacy for many years to come. Uh, and we have the chariot in the here and now, things moving very quickly. Interesting. We have the Four of Pentacles holding things up, holding things back. So there was the idea to move it quickly to have that clarity before the election is he innocent or is he guilty remember someone is only uh guilty uh post-trial um innocent until proven guilty in the hopes and fears we have um locked out of something uh and then we have the supreme uh, sorry the supreme court the high priestess now this is an unknown card Secrets yet to be revealed. Decisions, decision time, a lot of work to be done. Um, decision, the two, two, which ship will we allow in? He's got a lot of criminal cases coming up. There's a huge decision that's being made about this timeline that we're not privy to. And then we have the King of Wands and... The Three of Pentacles, yeah. They're still deciding. Even the DOJ are still, are still, the jury's still out for the DOJ. 
However, I think they get there in the end. I think they decide to go, yeah, the, the Emperor card. Uh, I think they decide to go before the election, even if it is cutting it fine. So, base of the pack, the nine of, the penic nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, Choices, Consistency, something coming to fruition in time and manifestation. Now, I said that it's almost like the universe, this is in the universe's hands. I think the DOJ are still deciding on the timelines, but I feel that at the end of those deliberations, it will go forward before the election, perhaps because there are matters there that we are still not privy to that will come out in the trial that are of national significance. Obviously, it's all, all but I just, I, I just get the sense that there is evidence there that even we don't know about with damning evidence there that we don't still don't know about okay so i think at the end of the day after their deliberations it more than likely will go ahead but that's not that's not a straight out answer for me in the outcome it's like they are deliberating they have to make very hard choices and in the end they make a bold choice Okay, so classified documents case. Uh, my ultimate prediction on that was that there would be a matter over which Cannon would have to recuse herself. So far, that prediction has not come true. <laughs> I'm not right all the time, but there's still time left. Under pressure from the January, uh, under pressure from Jack Smith, she resigns. That was the prediction. However, let's have a look. Um, will the classified documents case be heard before the election? Will the classified documents case be heard before the election? Will the classified documents case be heard before the election? Will the classified documents case be heard before the election? Waterfalls. Okay, three of pinnacles, skill, teamwork, and then we get deceit. Okay, so you see how different those signifier cards are from the previous questions here. Loss, walking away from what no longer serves you. Something uh, around the skill level. There's, okay, let's keep going. In the past, we have the Prosecutor, the Ace of Wands, Bravery, and we have the Moon. You see the difference in the cards here. The moon, things, volatility, things coming to the surface, unstable conditions. That's what's crowning this reading. However, we do get a decision. She does come forward with a decision with that eight of wands there. In the here and now, we get the ten of swords. Okay, okay. Restriction, though. Uh, restriction. In the hopes and fears is obviously... Is this straightforward? Is this judge on the level? That's that's the fear. Is there a manipulation going on, a.k.a. the sand being poured into the gears? I'm not liking... That's the outcome card, the seven of, seven of Cups. But then we get the Two of Cups. And then we get... Um, the nine of swords and the and the card for the DOJ. No, this is this is volatile. Although this there's like the just smoke screens being put up. This is just like the passive passage of this has been pretty terrible. But she does come to a deal with somebody. I'm wondering. The tower is underneath. There she is, the Queen of Swords, and we get moving out of troubled waters, the four of um wands. The there's there's consistency. There could be okay. There's consistency at the end of all of this, but it it could be with a new judge. Um, is it likely to go forward? Don't be surprised if she provides a date and then backs off that date. That's the kind of thing that I'm feeling, and I feel that there might be matters then to appeal uh, appeal this, which is what Jack Smith might do in terms of her decision making and delays so watch that space um now i uh there were a couple of things that i've read on recently in terms of the ex-president 
I said the most visible health problem he has is cognitive decline. I think I read on that last year sometime toward the, it might have been November, I can't remember. Cognitive decline. And honestly, I know he's under a lot of pressure, but man, he's just, you know, when your health is not good, you will uh, stumble um, over words. When the pressure's on, you will you will not have that clear sightedness, that clear thought pattern. However, this is something more. This is almost like if this was my grandfather, I would be seeking a medical opinion if, if it was my grandfather because of what I see as such obvious deterioration. And it's going very, very quickly. It's almost like the more the pressure is on, the more downhill the spiral is. So let's have a look at, all right, just show me one more shuffle. Show, show me Trump's health very quickly. Show me Trump's health. Show me Trump's health. Show me Trump's health. What do I see here? Trump's health. Now I'm getting the image of a, a mad king in a robe and a, uh, you know, the the rod, the staff, the, the whole regalia. But he has a business suit on underneath that robe and he's tottering. He's not steady on his feet. Um, so he could even be having balance issues. All right, so show me the health of the ex-president. New starts, downfall, new starts, ten of pentacles, money, king of wands in the past, bravery, boldness, deceit, and it's like theft, but it's also sabotage. Who's he sabotaging? The anxiety is incredibly high. The minor death card in the present, in the here and now. This came up on Fox News, remember, as well, which, you know. The Empress card in the, um, in the environment around. Abundance, a season of time. If I can just hang in there, things will be okay. However, in the hopes and fears, we just have not the clarity anymore. The outcome card is the sun, happiness, prosecutor, bombshells, the truth coming out, okay, and strength card, the strength of the truth, celebrations, the queen of wands, we get the ace of pentacles, and then we get the devil card, so I'm going to draw a clarifier on that. So um, planning, strategy, strat full illumination, strategizing, bombshells, truth. The bombshells keep coming. The bombshells keep coming. And a lot of underlying energy. Now, I said show me his health. Okay, so financial health is an issue here. Can he pay up? Can he pay his uh, fines? Show me this sun card clarified by the king of swords. Show me the sun card clarified by the king of swords. The past, something around the past. And then we get health. So uh, remember I don't read reversals and I need clarifications um, on those cards in the outcome given the, the terrible cards there. <laughs> In the, in the middle of the reading. There's some long-standing health issue that he has had that goes back into the past. And uh, that is what's clarifying the sun and the king of swords. It is around um, his clarity, his mental or lack of mental clarity. And then we have the queen of swords and the empress card, women. And then the devil, whoa, there's some kind of toxicity here. There's there's the, my, my treason card or the light bulb moment. There's the deception card. These are really, really, really terrible cards um, for his health. Can he pay up? 
uh, that's indicated here as well. He's juggling to, to, to really to see if he can pay those bonds. Let's just quickly see. Can he pay up? Can he pay the bonds? Both bonds. Accruing interest every day. Can he pay the bonds or will he pay the bonds? Can Trump, can Trump afford to pay those bonds in the civil case, in the civil cases in New York? Fraud and defamation. Business fraud and defamation. Can Trump afford to pay those bonds? Queen of Cups, something being let out of the bag. Uh, <sighs> a bombshell, a surprise. Loss, walking away. This is a heavy emotional feeling I get in these cards. They're all cups. In the past, he was the Knight of Cups. That's in the past. Okay, he comes in quickly offering a cup. But look, look here. Um, okay, we get the King of Swords, the Prosecutor. I don't think that, uh, I do not think there's a couple of campaign uh, donation uh, matters that are emerging. One in Wisconsin brought by a Republican um, against Trump and others, his PAC and others. I think that Smith has this here as well. We get the Hierophant, the courts in the immediate future. We have the Emperor in the here and now control, the King of Wands, boldness, bravery, the Emperor, new starts in the hopes and fears, and then we get justice, the Knight of Pentacles clarifying justice, the Queen of Wands, and Crossroads time. Three cups remain. I I don't think he I don't think he he's got it all. Potentially someone else could come to his, like a, a female might come to his aid and offer him something. But with that justice card as the outcome there, clarified by the um, Knight of Pentacles, consistent application of, the, of justice is what that outcome is saying. We have the Trump Organisation. We have that High Priestess again and defending himself. Deals and the truth. The truth emerging about the art of the deal. Okay, so um, at this stage, I say, no, he hasn't got it. This could be Letitia James as well. She has the decision to make to go in and sell him, sell some of him, his buildings up. Do we get here or his assets up? The lovers, the page of wands, not so, uh, not the king. So, um, I don't know, it's kind of like, kind of like he just hasn't, can't get there on any of these matters. So, unless he's bailed out by a very wealthy woman who's prepared to lose a lot of money, no, I don't think he can pay up. All right, now let's go to Putin and Navalny and we'll finish the reading off. Putin and Navalny. Alexei Navalny, rest in peace, my friend. No more need for sacrifice in, of this in this earthly realm. He is now in the heaven heavenly realm. Okay, so Navalny, Alexei Navalny. Interesting. So I'm getting um, somebody offering someone on the throne a cup. And behind them is an army of... It's an army. Okay, so... But it's almost like... A, it's, all like it's almost like see your reflection in the cup, mirror, mirror, on the wall type of image. Um, all right, so let's see. Navalny, Alexei Navalny, Alexei Navalny, has 
Putin's assassination of Alexei Navalny weakened Putin? Is Putin weakened by Alexei, Alexei Navalny's murdering, assassination, death? Is, uh, is Vladimir Putin weakened by Alexei Navalny now that he's passed over, whether it's in this life or in the afterlife? Is Putin weakened? So I see a stone uh, and there's light coming out of it, almost like a stone is being prized open, a very heavy, heavy rock is being prized open and there's light underneath it. Is Putin weakened by Alexei Navalny? Sure is. Well, that's... That's the uh, the death. The, the warrior comes home either badly wounded or death. And then we get the Queen of Wands. And this is why I keep saying three years ago that reading was where I said, watch his wife. And then I kept saying it. You see what we have here. The Two of Cups. Hmm... The past, we have the night, the night of wands. That's in the past. I think I'll bring the laptop, laptop down. Have a look at these cards. Knowing what you know. The four of cups in the sky, disappointment. Three cups lost, but someone was handing him a cup. The moon card. <laughs> Volatility, civility versus wild, out of control, untamed, uncivil. The moon card, something coming from the surface, up from underneath the surface. The nine of pentacles in the here and now. This is Putin's wealth. And power and the king of wands which are is more associated with that's the environment around so here's Putin in his gilded cage or gilded palace and here's the environment around bravery stepping forward we have the Emperor in the hopes and fears now isn't that interesting he's fearing that he, he's not got control the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, has Navalny weakened him absolutely. An overflowing of emotion. Look at the flowers here. Absolutely he has. We have decisions, juggling. And we have the truth, the Ace of Swords. There's some, there has been this rock, this it was wedged tightly in the in the cave and it's been prized open so this is a movement this is a movement families i love the sacrifice card because out of the sacrifice it calls for others to make that sacrifice to look at things in a different light we have the 10 of pentacles the oligarchy and we have the five of wands. Has he been, has he been weakened? Absolutely. Will he be further weakened? Absolutely. All right, then. Um, thank you for tuning in. And I'll come back with a Putin in 2024 reading later on, because I know many of you are concerned about his threats, nuclear weaponry threats. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.